sunny side of the street. Smith on the base. I used to walk in the shade with my blues on parade. I'm not afraid cause this rover crossed over. If I never had a sense, I'd be
so many friends. I feel the love tonight. <laughs> On the piano, Kevin Bales. A long time dear friend, great piano player. Same with Kevin Smith. I think we go back many, many years. This is a new drummer to me. I call him Mr. Chicago. You moved down here from Chicago. How many years ago? Three years ago? All right, so everyone give him a warm Atlanta welcome. <laughs> This next tune we're gonna do, uh, it's off of my record. I did a record during the pandemic. And it's called, Here's That Rainy Day. We're gonna do it as a bossa.
this next tune I'd like to do for you is called Afternoon in Paris. And uh, I don't know if you know that little record store in downtown Alpharetta called Comeback Vinyl. Yeah. Yeah. As a matter of fact, a lady on my tennis team owns that store. But I used to go in all the time for my little beagle. I'd get a cup of coffee and go in, and I'd buy all these records. But the joke was, I didn't have a record player. But I couldn't help myself, and I kept buying these records, and finally a friend uh, bought me a record player. And one of those records was Phineas Newborn Jr. And when I heard this tune, I, I don't know of any lyrics to it, do you? So I wrote some lyrics. Afternoon in Paris. I hope you like them. And if you don't, blame it on this guy. <laughs> Imagine you're in Paris walking the streets. In Paris, we walk around and never keep the time. It's Paris, we watch the lovely people passing by. We meet up at the bridge, then we cross the Seine. Relaxing, we find a cozy spot by a cafe. Romancing, a charming chat, we waste the day. Smith.
then we cross the same. Relaxing, we find a cozy spot on a cafe. Romancing, a charming chat, we waste the day away. You stare into my arms, then you take my Harold. So this was a very special record. Um, I recorded it up in New York because I moved here from New York. And the piano player on it was Harold Mayburn Jr., who was a legendary piano player and one of my favorite persons. And this was his last recording. He passed away after this recording. So uh, it's very special. And I almost, well, you know the story. I almost named it something else. So, you want to know, don't you? <laughs> you want to know what I almost yeah. named it? Yeah. <laughs> so, I flew up to New York. I was at the funeral. I also paint. So, I, I enjoy painting portraits and, and landscapes and such. And I'm at the funeral and I'm, I'm, you know, emotional. And I see my portrait that I had painted of Harold right up by the casket. And, uh, and I was shocked. And it was very very lovely, and his daughter came up to me and she said, Jennifer, did you see the big surprise? She said, this is a painting you had done of my father. And I'm crying, and I said, yes, that's so special. And she goes, I went to Big Daddy's house and I saw that painting and I said, Big Daddy, who painted that? And he said, oh, that was Big Legs. <laughs> and I stopped crying immediately. <laughs> I said, I looked up and I said, Big Legs? She goes, oh, you didn't know? That was his nickname for you. <laughs> Look, are they big? Are they that big? I'm so confused. And I love the man. <laughs> oh, I'm very confused. I don't know how I should feel. But I love the man so much that I said, okay, I'll take it as a, I don't know. I just, I'll embrace it because it came from Harold. But I almost named the record Big Legs. <laughs> He calls me Big Legs. I said, okay, that's enough. That's Terrible. enough. Terrible. Uh, once you pick yourself up and see. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 These guys are pros, they can handle it. Same as last year. Maybe. <laughs> Oh, 
sang it in, uh, what was that movie? Okay. Gentlemen Prefer Blondes? <laughs> I know all these guys prefer blondes. <laughs> they really have no choice tonight. <laughs> and they prefer big legs, but you know, it's Sunday, we can't go. <laughs> we're gonna try to do this one. We're all gonna be dead up here. <laughs>
Kevin Smith. record because we're selling the records in the back. Kevin said, you have to do a better job of promoting your record. They're in the back. I said, okay, maybe you could say a word. He said, you tell, tell everyone it's the best record in the last 20 years in jazz. And he goes, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, all right, this one is off the record. And this is a tune I wrote. It's called, But When the Music Stops. So memorable. I'm just bad with like titles. I know. You are. You know, I wrote the words, but I haven't done this in a while. So I hope I remember the words that I wrote. <laughs> when you leave at night to the city out of sight, won't be back till June.
shave came, I can be there right away. Call me from baggage claim. I'll be waiting just the same. But when the music stops, you always come. This next one, you can't go wrong with Duke Ellington. All right. This one's called yeah. Love You Madly. He used to tell that to his audience every time when he would sing, Love You Madly, and I love you madly. <laughs> Oh, so 
Thank you. Thank you so much. Stinker from Chicago. Thank you. 
said, yes, yes, CDs. I told him, I said, listen, if you don't laugh at my jokes backstage, uh, no solos. So, you know. I laughed heartily. <laughs> the best joke I ever heard. <laughs> so, I think we have time for one more. Yeah. And these are strange times yeah. and you know when I when I reflect on everything that's going on I came to this tune and uh, it inspires me so hopefully it uh, inspires you thinking about Bing Crosby and um, is it a Christmas song? I, I don't think so. It just happened to be in a Christmas movie. When you're worried and you can't sleep, just count your blessings instead of sheep.
Kevin Bales on the piano. Kevin Smith on the bass. Mr. Chicago, Glenn Johnson on the drums. And I'm Jennifer Oblesky. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming out on a Sunday. Good night. Jennifer will hang around. I hear she has some friends in the audience. We may just new friends, you okay? We may just give her the key and tell her to lock up when she leaves. Thank you for joining us tonight. We loved having you. And we'd love to have you again. You can find all of our upcoming shows at thevelvetnote.com. Trust me when I tell you, this is what we love to do which is to bring you closer to artists who inspire you, closer to each other, closer to the song that's in your heart. Come back and see us again soon. Good night. Woo!